What is up, y'all? Functions here with Rough Night Gaming. Welcome to Things That Grind My Gears. I think it's episode number 16. I keep losing track of what number I'm on when I go to do the commentary because there's just so fucking many of them. I literally, like, count everything up that I've done so far. I've probably said at least 50 things that annoy me. So, I mean, if you ever met me in person, you could just do all 50 things at one time and I would probably hate you. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's besides the point. All right. So today, this is not my gameplay. Actually, this is a friend, I guess. Uh, he got hit me up on YouTube, asked me if I could post for him, and he told me, you know, you got like a 229 something kill game. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll definitely post for you. Just make sure you send me the gameplay. And this brought like the idea around, like maybe I'll start posting, you know, subscriber gameplays, not just on Subscriber Sunday. So that is something to consider. I might just start doing that on Mondays and Tuesdays. As well, or just on Tuesday. I don't know what damn I do it on, but I like posting subscriber gameplay. I think it's kind of cool. You know, it gets you guys some views too, as well. You know, not, you know, gets you some recognition, I guess, or whatever. And we all have fun, and it's, you know, it's all a good time. So, that's enough on the gameplay. Watch it, enjoy it. It's pretty fun. But I mean, if you don't want to, you know, listen to my, what annoys me, then turn it down and just watch the gameplay. It's great. But if you do, which I'm sure you do, why you're here is to watch, you know, hear my commentary, then shut up and listen! Let's do this. Stepping in dog shit. Alright. Um, you know, on this planet, there's some animals, you know. Got some gorillas. Got some giraffes. And my friend's got a pet. I don't know. He's got... I, I forgot. A pet elephant or something like that, you know. Everybody's got their pets and stuff, right? Well, guess what? Clean up their shit, okay? I'll be walking around, stepping in dog shit, because you don't know what a plastic bag is, or a paper bag, or, I don't know, just not shitting in fucking public, means, okay? It's really simple, you know? So, you could just, I don't know, not do that, and you could just pick up their dog shit, and it won't be a problem, okay? I don't want to walk around in my nice fucking kicks, because I spend, you know, quite a bit of money on my shoes, actually. Upwards, like, most of my shoes are, like, $110, at least, was what I pay for them. Uh, Cause I like my, I like shoes. I'm like, I, I, I have like an accept, obsession with shoes and snapbacks. I don't want to step in your dog shit, okay? Clean it up. Be responsible. Be a normal human being, and be respectful of everybody around you. You don't need to, I don't know, just leave dog shit on the fucking ground. Like, this is your dog. Pick it up, okay? If it's your gorilla, pick it up too. If it's your giraffe, I don't, I don't care what animal you have. If it's shitting in public and it's gonna bother me, pick it up. Cause I, I really matter, okay? I'm important. Remember that. <laughs> Alright, number two. So, spring's coming up. It's around the corner. Actually, it's really funny because as I say that right now, I'm looking outside. And it is snowing so much. Holy shit. We're supposed to get like eight inches tonight. So, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for no college tomorrow. I'm, I don't want to take my midterm. I don't. I really don't want to take it. I'm afraid of this one, actually. <laughs> Probably because I haven't really studied that much for it. But... That's besides the point. So spring's coming up, and that means, you know, going back outside, getting in the sun and shit, playing basketball with my friends, you know, down by the course and stuff, having fun, throwing football around, playing softball, you know, because, yeah, whatever, softball, baseball, if you want to call it, because I play in a mural league, so I play softball. I'm an old guy now. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm only, like, she's, like, 19. But, so you don't get in outside and sunburn, all right? Now, I don't want to have to like explain everything to you but I'm extremely Irish I'm almost I think I'm almost pure Irish I have a little bit of Italian in me but I'm, I'm very 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 Irish so you know I'm very white um, I got freckles I don't really tan and I burn very easily so sunburn is something that pisses me off really grinds my gears look okay if it says SPF 50 I expect to get the protection of an SPF 50 not the protection of an SPF 10. Don't sell me it if it's not going to protect me from the sun rays. Because I am very sensitive, okay? <laughs> I don't really understand. Like, I almost, like, stopped wearing a sunscreen because it's pointless. I, I wear something like SPF 65 and it doesn't even fucking matter anymore. Because I'm still going to get a sunburn. Sun, why are you so hot? Why can't you just, I don't know, not burn me? It's probably because I'm sitting out there for, like, eight hours at a time in the, you know, dead heat of summer at the fucking beach or something. Just like laying out like, uh, I'm so exhausted. Kill me, son. And then I get a sunburn and then I'm crying the next three days. And that's the worst part because like when you're out in the sun and you're having fun, it's like, ah, you don't really feel it. But then when you get home and you start like, you know, winding down and you're not really in the sun anymore, it's like, wow, oh, this really hurts. 
and you go put like a, a new shirt on, it's like, ow, ow. And then you get in the shower, and it's like, whoo, can't handle the hot water today. There was some sunburn in this bitch. And then, uh, what what else is there? You know, and then the worst part is if you get sun poisoning. If you get, I, I've gone sun poisoning quite a few times, actually. I got it last year, actually, again, on my shoulders. And it gets all bubbly and shit, and it's disgusting. It, it does. It not only, like, looks gross, but, like, you feel gross, and it, and it hurts. <laughs> I, if you've ever gotten sun poisoning, you know what I mean? I've actually gotten it on my face before, and that's, like, the worst part, because now I, I have scars on my nose from where I got sun poisoning on my nose. <laughs> so now I have a scar from that. It's not like it's not very noticeable, but I have a scar. So fucking sunburns can suck my dick, okay? I want to enjoy the sun. I want to go out and have a good time. You know, hang out at the beach, get some bitches, see some titties. You know, the normal things you do at a beach. I don't want to get sunburned, okay? Next one. Stuff in your eye. Alright, this can this can be, like, vary a lot of things. Uh, if you're gay, it could become... It's not a problem. If you're gay, I don't care if you're gay. But, I mean, it could be. You know, if you're gay. No, normally, like, stuff in your eye, like, I don't know. You ever, like, just hang out outside, and then a bug, for whatever reason, just flies and lands fucking right in your eye? And for you can't get it out for the life of you? You're like, ah, fuck! I got a bug in my eye. Get out of here, you dick. And for the next five minutes, you sit there rubbing your eye out. You're like, ugh, damn it. I'm, ah. and, and you can't get it out. And after like five minutes, you're like, fuck it, dude. Give me the scalpel. We'll take my eye out. Screw it. Gonna, I'm going one eye like a pirate. I, I, for whatever, I, is this just me? But whenever I get something in my eye, I can never seem to get it out. Uh, like an eyelash. I don't know, a bug gets in there sometimes. If you ever get sand in your eye, it hurts like a bitch. Soap in your eye sucks ass too. You know, you're in the shower, just shampooing your hair around. You're like, oh yeah, I'm getting this shampoo in my hair. It's gonna feel so good. Rinse it out. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, mom! I got soap in my eye! Fuck! Watch your language, Jimmy! Fuck you, mom! Like, like you know what I mean? You just like chilling around. You get soap in your fucking. It doesn't matter what you get in your eye. Whatever it is, it's always going to be hell. Oh my god, I cannot handle anything in my eye. Someone's like, dude, you got an eyelash in your eye. Like, all right, hold on, give me like twenty minutes. Twenty minutes later, you get it, dude. Yeah, I'm making a wish right now. <sighs> What'd you wish for? To never get anything in my fucking eye again because it's annoying and it hurts. <laughs> I'm done. Leave a comment if you ever have anything in your eye. Like the weirdest thing you ever had in your eye, leave that in the comment below. Definitely, okay? Last one. People reading over your shoulder. Well, you see, uh, if you wanted to read this so bad, get a copy of it, okay? Why are you, uh, why are you looking over my shoulder, kid? I don't really want, like, it's It's not just like, like I understand if you want to see what I'm, I, I actually don't even understand. Like, it's, I'm not that fucking interesting, first off. And it's just, it's rude because... They're like really close to you and like right over your shoulder and like it's like they're breathing on you. And it's just really annoying. It's I don't know, I feel like I'm getting my personal space invaded when someone reads over my shoulder like, Hey dude, what you doing? Dude, if I actually wanted to, you know, let you know what I was reading, I would have showed you or told you what I was reading, you know. But I don't, so I didn't tell you, okay? So fuck off. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Don't read over my shoulder, man. If you're that interested in it, uh ask me for the book or whatever I'm reading. Afterwards, and I'll let you borrow it. If it's my phone, uh, definitely don't read it over my shoulder because this is probably personal, private text messages, you know, one on one conversation that you don't belong in. So I don't know why you're trying to read it over my shoulder, bruh. Alright? You can, uh, you can fuck off. How does that sound? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I am all over the place. Whatever. I'm gonna end it right there. Fuck it. I'm done. Well. I hope you guys enjoyed Things That Grind My Gears again. Episode number 16, I believe. I kind of went up on some random tangents, and I probably sounded like a fool. And I like a fool. But, I mean, shit happens. You know what I mean, bruh? So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Make sure you guys definitely go check him out. Subliminal. I'll leave his YouTube link in the description. Give him a like or a sub. Go look at him. He's really beast, and he goes hard. And this is, once again, not my gameplay. It's his. All credit goes to him. Like the video if you enjoyed the gameplay, and definitely go check them out, alright? Subscribe if you have not already. Have a great day, guys. Things that grind my gears, I'm out. Peace.